Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to compute a line in integral integration of f dot dr. So this is a dot product here between f and dr, where f is x squared i plus y j plus x z minus y k, and the contour in this case is c now is actually the path, the line segment joining. 0, 0, 0 to 1, 2, 4. And the parametric equation is x equal to t, y equal to t, z equal to 4t. And in particular, just recall that this dot here is a dot product or scalar product. So first, we understand what is the path first. The path is joining 0, 0, 0 to 1, 2, 4 by a straight line. So the picture of this path looks like this. You have coordinate 0, 0, 0 and 1, 2, 4, and then you join them by the straight line. This straight line is given by x equal to t, y equal to t, z equal to 4t, and so this is a straight line path from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 2, 4. In particular, you have to know that at the point, what is the value of t now? At the point 0, 0, 0, we know that t is equal to 0. In this case, you can check easily. At the point 1, 2, 4, t is equal to 1. You can check them easily and put t equal to 1. Now let's try to figure out the integral. Before we do that, let's do the dot product first. We know what is f and dr, so we're going to do the f dot dr first. So you look at x squared and dx multiplied together, you are going to get x squared dx, all right? And, and then you're going to find out for the y component, t component, y and dy multiplied together and you're going to get y dy and finally xz minus y times k and dzk dot product will give you xz minus y dz so this is f dot dr and the integration we have is f dot dr over the contour so I just copy again this is the integration over the contour now. Now what is the contour again? The contour is a straight line joining 0, 0, 0 to 1, 2, 4. So in this case, the contour now is a straight line. So we need to convert everything to t now. First of all, I know that x is equal to t. So if we differentiate with respect to x, x with respect to t, get dx dt equal to 1 or dx equal to dt first. And then we know y is equal to t. So dy dt is equal to 2, or dy equal to 2 dt. Now z equal to 4t, so dz dt is equal to 4 now, so dz equal to 4 dt. Now convert this everything to t now, this will become x square is x is t, right? We know x is t, so x square will be t square dx is equal to dt, all right? So actually using x is t, dx equal to dt. Then let's look at y now. Now y is 2t, all right? y is 2t, and what is dy now? dy is 2dt. So I have 2dt now. And then I'm gonna put xz minus y. x is t z is 4t now, I have 4t, z is 4t, so it is, is equal to 4t, minus y, y is 2t, and y is dz now, dz is 4dt. So, I get, simplifying now, let's see what is this, t squared dt plus 4t dt, plus, let's multiply as 16t square times 4 and minus 8t dt. So you collect all this together, you'll get how many t square? 16t square and t square, so you get 17t square now. 4t and minus 8t all together, you get minus 4t dt. Now, 
Then we have to find the limit of t now. We know that the path is going from t equal to 0 to t equal to 1, right? At the point 0, 0, 0, t equal to 0. At the end, 1, 2, 4, t is equal to 1. So this integration, the limit of t is actually from t equal to 0 to 1. t equal to 0 to 1. Right? So this is going to be integration of t equals to 0 to 1. And then you record the integration. Integration of t power n is t power n plus 1 or n plus 1. So you do this, integration of t and over t square. This will give you 17t cubed over 3 minus 4t squared over 2 from 0 to 1. So we'll put t equal to 1 inside, you get 17 over 3 minus 4 over 2. For t equals 0, you get 0 all every time. So you are going to have 17 over 3 minus 2, which is 17 over 3 minus 6 will get 11 over 3. And this will be the integral. This will end the recording.